The supernatural, that God intervenes in the world, etc. But what, okay, you come across a hadith which Muslims accept, but the Prophet actually foretells events in the future. Or there's a verse in the Quran that speaks about events that are due to come in the future. The HCM would say, well, that. They can't be, they're not historical. Predictions don't happen like that. There are no prophets. There's just human beings. Yeah. Okay, so, so what you're doing is you're basically, before you even look at the evidence, you're debunking it. You've already yeah, ruled you, it out, you, you, a priori. You've got your, presuppositions, you got your presuppositions. Yeah, there are. There and are I'm saying that's, that, 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 is, that is invalid. Assumptions, but yeah. even coming from an Islamic perspective, you're making assumptions from that perspective as well. So but, but, but indeed, but. It's about weighing them, weighing them up together, I would say. But I'm saying the, the, like the, a multidisciplinary the, approach. The claim of the HCM is the claim to, of, to be objective, and I'm saying it's not objective. There is some objectivity in it, but a lot of it is packed with assumptions which are toxic to uh, people of faith and in fact are based on philosophical assumptions that come from European history to do with their rejection of Christianity, rejection of the church uh, and based on a, a, a quite a secular, a very secular understanding which is actually now, we, we're, the, our universe is not secular, it's a philosophical lens and I'm saying there are other ways of doing history, I met Ibn Khaldun for example, is a massive intellect in the Islamic tradition who had a much richer multi-dimensional understanding of how we are of epistemology. That's a better model, I would argue, than the secular one. But to argue that the secular approach is toxic to those with a more spiritual or religious yeah, absolutely, approach absolutely. is exactly the same as saying that those with a religious, a more religious approach, those views are toxic to someone with a more secular view. So how do we, how do we resolve Yeah, but we don't have that kind of equality. We have, we have the, the, the hegemony of the secular paradigm in academic studies in this field. Yeah. We don't have this problem that you're. There's no. Oh, we're going to have that. That doesn't exist. Right. If, if you, I mean, I was. No, I can only speak for myself. No, I was talking to a, a friend uh, who's doing masters at SOAS. I won't mention who's uh, uh, literally uh, is after um, on Friday, and he was talking. He was doing a course on uh, on the Quran, and he, he was taught that the Quran story about the Noah and the flood are derived from earlier Mesopotamian myths. Yeah. Whoa. And I'm thinking, really? Now that, that that's the genetic kind of fallacy, because because it's there's a similarity with an older mythological story. Therefore, it's just myth. You know, maybe there are multiple accounts, and act behind those narratives lie a reality, an actual flood that really, happened in the, Mesopotamia. Yeah, but then there was narratives before the narratives as well. Before no, that. but the a exactly. commitment to that the being the yes. explanation yes. is the danger. But actually, if one is to investigate those possibilities and then just weigh them up or say, well, look, these are the options. Let's have a look at them and try to be as objective as we can. But the HCM doesn't allow that because it doesn't, it starts off by saying that prophets who predict the future are not datum of history. They are, they are to be seen as late, they're mythological, they're legendary, they're not objectively real. I mean, I, I reference that, Nikolai Sinai's book, but the HCM doesn't normally allow that because it doesn't allow God's intervention in history as a factor that historians can quantify and say but an this happened. But approach wouldn't make space for the HCM approach, so yeah, they're, both, yeah, they're yeah. both as close no, no, no. to each other yeah, as... Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it does, it, it, a modified form of historical critical method. So a multi... I meant even Cal Dunn, a multidisciplinary... He, he was able to look at societies historically in terms of their systems and their ups and their downs and so on without any reference to revelation explicitly necessarily. But he was also aware that God is in control of history and, and that we don't live in a secular world. So he, he was able to have different registers, different epistemologies. The HCM only has a secular uh, register. So the datum of revelation is simply not taken into account. And Islamically, that is unacceptable because God exists and has given and has spoken to mankind through, through the, the gospel and the Torah and the, the Quran well, or whatever. Can I ask, a, ask an important question? So, you see all these, you know, uh, teachings and uh, concepts in different religions. Yeah. Like you mentioned in uh, Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism. Yeah. 
and it's also available in different religions like Judaism, Islam. It's the same exact concept. So my question is, mm. with some, with some, with yeah, some variations on, on yeah, with some yeah. variations. Yeah. Okay. So my question is, if we, for example, take uh, the teachings you mentioned earlier, Zaratustra. Of Zaratustra. Yeah, it first came up in the. Uh, uh, this teaching right. by this person. Yeah. That's what I'm trying who to gave, understand. Who gave it? To it? What, how, how did it come to him? Is it like... Through revelation? Uh, through uh, meditation? Is it I uh, believe, uh, through um, God? Because because you also it mentioned... It came from something. You can agree on that. You also, you also mentioned monotheism, meaning that there is uh, one God to worship. So did it come uh, through God? That there is one creator. Creator. Yeah. So did it came from that creator? <laughs> And if it, if it did came, uh, did it did it also maybe in some part of history, prehistory to that point, uh, was also some teachings to different civilization predated that civilization. I mean, we can we can speculate on whether those teachings reached other people. I just I, I find it sometimes more beneficial just to look at the evidence we have rather than speculating on what. Uh, may have happened for which we can, to which we cannot attest uh, with evidence. We can do that, but I still want to understand where did it come from? Because if if it if it came from a person, no difference than me, why should I accept it and take it? Well, I, I would I would be more interested in the value of the message yeah, yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. than the, than forget, the person. Forget, forget about the words of, of a person. You just want to learn it. If it's, Value. If there is a valuable because message that's what's that was timeless, no human is timeless. If there is a message of value that was revealed three and a half thousand years ago, let's say, okay. and if or if that hadn't happened and the message arrived today, would it be so of any less these value? values are supposed to be like uh, something good for us. Yeah, if we follow it, it will work and it will like uh, bring peace and I certainly prosperity. imagine that the mes the parts of that message that are congruent with the ones that you see in your own belief system, you would you would agree are yeah, yeah. valuable. I, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't even come to uh, this part of uh, so I'm saying history if, or if, future. If he talks, I'm, if I'm, he spoke about um, the idea of personal responsibility for one's actions, yeah. personal judgment for for one's uh, righteous or evil deeds during the course of one's life, if that echoes something that you hear in your own teachings, then. Uh, Naturally, you would think that's a, 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 but that a maybe, theme of value, right? That may be not started with, with these uh, teachings or the, uh, this. Uh, it may not have started there. System of belief. It, it may be natural. Earlier and he said, it may if be there's natural. no historical proof of it, yeah. then, then, then it's just it a started with that. Ah, then, yeah. Historical proof. So this is about the secular maybe methodology secular. again. Natural. It's, it's right. only what can be verified by secular historians that is true. I can't, I can't uh. comment on evidence I don't have. So I, I, am, I, am, I like to believe or think, yeah. right. not believe or right. think. That could be natural. So these are your in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good word. Yeah. yeah, that's a good word. So, what, what, give me proof that this is not something natural in human to act like this, to take responsibility in his action or their action, and it started with that book. First. So sorry, give you proof that say say again. Just what, how how we, how can we verify that it's not something natural? For man to believe that he started be judged that, yeah. for his personal no, actions, that, that it just and these values ever, started um, with this. Yeah, book. the resolution of, yeah. of that idea was through Zoroaster. How do we know? No, I don't, I don't make the claim that he's the first to have ever said. But he's it. earlier than. I, I, however, he's making claims. It seems evident that we made the earlier we made the claim that other religions yeah. took from that or like. Well, I, have to build, I would have to build a case for that. So I kind of began to do that the with the timing of, the of, the of certain yeah. new statements in the biblical corpus, which seem to coincide with the arrival of a new group of people and then the development of those ideas during that period. I mean, you can take it or leave it, but it, it, no, but that's, it that's seems like an interesting... Corner, that's the whole point. It seems like an interesting it path of yeah, I mean. investigation, perhaps to try to to build a coherent uh, thread of events. I have no problem. I, I think the, the, the problem is if one's looking at the the origin of these ideas it, 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 on, on just on the human level, because 
you, you will believe the existence of, of demons and, and Satan, for example. If, if Mesopotamians brought this, if, sorry, Zoroastrians brought this idea to across to Judea, it doesn't mean it came from Judea. This is it's objectively real. These these entities exist. They're bearing witness to the truth, or they are evidencing the truth I think of these is things. That one group of people believed no. it, no. and then another group no. of people came to believe it. But, yeah, but it says much just, more than that because but you're it, they exist. Just no, but, but we, we know they exist anyway, so that they are. How do you know they exist? What you don't? Yeah. You believe they exist? No, no. I, it's not a question of my belief. They they do exist. No, it's not a question of my beliefs or my thinking any more than. I believe. So referring to specific no, it's like saying I believe the sun exists. Well, past, it's actually it's much stronger than that. The sun so does exist. It's yeah. Yeah. I can, I can the actually point to this with believing angels. And yes, things. absolutely. So explain how you would verify that the same way you would verify the sun exists. Ver verify well, we through experience would be one way. So uh, uh, humanity, well, the, the, the accounts of legion, you can Google it. Uh, humanity has always encountered angelic beings and, and demonic beings uh, in all religions, or Astronism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. Um, and, and, the, and so this is, yeah, and also human beings have always experienced the existence of the sun, I would suggest. We're experiencing it now. Yeah, but, yes, but... I'm not, I'm not experiencing angels and demons. No, no, you, no, I'm not saying how to experience 24 hours a day like, on tap. Them. But uh, but uh, human beings in general maybe, have experienced maybe the, 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 James. To, maybe you haven't came to the well, yeah, but they claim to see the sun as well. Oh, we are seeing the sun right now. Uh, yeah. I don't know how you conflate but those ideas. There are lots of things I can't see that I know are real. I can't see subatomic particles. I can't see laws of but physics. We can measure them. I can't we can see. Them. I can't see your consciousness, your mind. Can you I see your? Was, was, it, was, was you there an experiment? There are lots of things to measure to measure uh, the existence of like or the presence of demons. Yeah. I think. Well, 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 on, on, uh, well, you know, he asked how we know. I'm saying that empirically, that through our experience, human beings have known the existence of these phenomena always, in all, virtually all religious traditions. Secularism denies their existence because it's a, a post-enlightenment Western European white male construct. I don't reject their existence, um, but you say you know they no, exist. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying that the secularism, you we may not, the secularism does reject them a priori as, as factors. Se secularism per so se, it's a good uh, example. If you look at the Gospels, uh, Jesus portrayed as someone who exercised demons from yeah. people. It's all over the Gospels. And he was a miracle worker. I'm, I'm just, now, I'm a secular just historiography would dismiss all that as myth. But do you on object to the idea of comparing on this topic. angels and demons with whether the, the reality you, of you ask how we knew things. You ask how we knew things. I'm saying through experience, it's and, and we have different kinds different. of experience. It's somehow different because experience it's not is a different kinds of experience, but it's still experience based. Yeah, you know, I, I can't access your mind. I have no knowledge that your mind is I, real, and I can't prove that. Your personal experiences of these, yeah. these so, uh, phenomena. Well, we, we can have a private comment. I can talk to you about you know these things, but. It is very widely attested in the literature. Uh, for example, uh, um, in the, the book, that William James's book, The Varieties of Religious Experience, like a seminal work of the early 20th century. He's a pioneer so of psychology. Uh, hang, well, hang on Sorry, a second. second. Can I ask you as I'm trying to explain? <laughs> um, and he, he's a, a, a psychologist, and he narrates a lot of these things, some numerous uh, accounts across a wide variety of different backgrounds of people. So it is a very frequently attested experience. I'm saying Western secular methodology tends to exclude that as a valid source of knowledge about the real world out there. And when it comes to say religious works like the Gospels where Jesus portrayed as exercising people, it will typically not see these as actually real objective experiences, actual accounts of what Jesus did. And I'm saying that that is to betray the reality of what it could well have been real. It could have been made up stories, but in principle they could have happened, actually. Okay, but but secularism will always be reject Everyone can no. agree on, on that it could have happened. Yeah. Everyone can agree. That's one thing everyone But secularism agree. will reject it as it would, historical. They would reject how, it, but how, Thank you. That's my how, point. It would reject it. How, that's far away. To but hold on. They could be real. It's very, is a, a mile away from... We know they're real. That's a, that's a different statement. An openness to reality is not something I've noticed in secular writers on this subject. Okay. And, and the, the example of, of demons is usually, is always now in our materialist West, explained away as a function of mental illness right, or right. disturbance or hallucination. And that again is a, materi whole, whole that is a materialist like prejudice, a secular prejudice against a phenomena that is widely evidenced and known in mankind. And this is doing a disservice to the truth because demons and angels they do exist. Yes, they do. Uh, so okay, this is the problem. We'll, we'll agree to disagree. You, you, you don't, okay, you don't we can agree to disagree, that's magic fine. And witchcraft, then? <laughs> Thumbs up from the back there. You don't believe in that. So, there is no such I, I don't act, believe in that. Oh, such an act to, okay. like, to magic.
don't and, believe in and demons. Inter- no, you have to define what a demon is. Yeah, yeah, yeah do you so know what I mean? Like, 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 no, no, come on, come on. We're, we're all, we're all, we're, when, they, when they say demon, yeah, we're, we're all like disagreeing with each other. But we all kind of, James, then. we James. all agree. You don't call them James, right? Who's you lot? Muslims. Muslims. He's, no, he's not a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a beard, you're a Muslim. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, I do apologize. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah? And, and, and what you, are jinns to you? Do you believe in jinns? Do I believe jinns? Yeah. Demons, yeah. divans. <laughs> yeah, are they, are you get good and bad jinn, can't jinn, you? Get, so you get so good communities and bad. Yeah, so. You and the brother, you and the brother here. Yeah, I, I agree they exist. Okay. Yeah, the unseen oh, realm actually exists and it actually interacts with this world and changes things. People, people have uh, encounters with demons and angels. They make a difference. And, and there's masses of evidence that this happens in the world. The evidence is there. We don't want to see it in the West because it goes against our materialist prejudices about the nature of reality. I'm saying reality is, is different from the Western paradigm and includes uh, all of these areas of life which do make a difference in the real world. Those of us who believe in God and believe in the unseen have experienced this stuff. I'm talking go away. Billions of people have. I, don't, I, I, I mean, just from a personal perspective, I don't yeah. rule out the idea of a spiritual realm or uh, higher dimension, whatever, whatever you want to, sure, whatever you want to call it. I, I just, I don't necessarily just ascribe to a given description of what that is. I don't think we can just define it or defer to some uh, revelation. No, I'm, I'm saying we shouldn't accept what the Western paradigm does. It explains it away as psychiatric uh, illness and so on. I'm saying that that is erroneous and based on a false understanding of reality. It's not that. It's not, it's not the, 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 the West doesn't recognise it. It does try to debunk it. It falsifies it. That's my problem. It's, it's much more hostile than just saying, oh, we don't know. It actually goes out and says to people, if you testify to these things, you will be referred to a doctor. That's my problem. Sorry, everyone wants to comment. Yeah. Well, so this is the that. question, big man. Oh, where did dreams come from? Big man? <laughs> what, what? Dreams, dreams, dreams. Where did dreams come from? Dreams. Um, this discussion sure. earlier, I, I suspect they're like a, a function, of the, function of the brain. Function of the brain. Yeah. Yeah. We had this discussion earlier about the dreams, like yeah. whether it's reality. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it may be yeah. a, yeah. a, a portal to some spiritual dimension. You're the best way to look at all of these things. You know, like the spiritual realm. Okay. The unseen, almost them as well. That before, like, for example, we, the simple way to go about it is this. Now, why do we believe in the unseen as Muslims? Fundamentally, it's because we believe in the prophethood of the prophet, peace be upon him. Now, if the prophet, peace be upon him, tells us that there's something called a jinn or there's something called heaven and hell, then we believe in him because we believe in the evidence for his prophethood. Once you establish evidence for his prophethood, then whatever he says is the truth. I didn't even realize you were here. Let me just finish, yeah? He, he's not a Muslim, by the way. He's not a Muslim. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. He doesn't accept the premise of your yeah, point. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. But the best way to, like, instead of saying, oh, do jinns exist or not, <laughs> the best thing is, the one who tells you about jinns, who's the prophet, ask the question, is he a real prophet? Because if you, believe, if you, if you argue that he's a real prophet, and the deduction follows that he is, with all the evidence that he comes with, then whatever he says after that is all true. Because How do you confident. determine if he's, if he's a true prophet? That's a good question. That's a, that's a, that's a much that's bigger a different question, different but I'd rather defer to that gentleman's yeah. um, approach, approach, which is to defer to... Experience, to experience. Yeah. experience. Yeah, it's an empiricist approach. I'm not denying revelation, I'm just saying that there's also a wider appeal here to experience. Yes, I agree. I agree. I love the Bible. Can I ask you to use that? Oh, he's a Christian. I want to ask the brother two questions. He's saying about the prophet. I want to get his understanding of right. him. I want another one asking his age, and then I want to ask him the same thing. You don't. You don't. You, you feel emotions. You have dreams. And where do they come no, from? No, listen, listen. You got love for it, yeah. So obviously, you got love for the Quran and Prophet Muhammad. And mm. um, I got a love for the Bible. And okay, the okay, the Bible. okay. The true meaning behind it is it's not proof. You just have an admiration for it. Am I, am I wrong? No, but why do... But no, I, I obviously have, have admiration for the Quran, but I don't no, believe but you're it. saying there's proof of the Bible because of admiration. No, because it's been fulfilled. There's prophecies that's been yeah, fulfilled. Yeah, but you're admiring it now. Yeah, I'm admiring it now because... If, and it's prophecies that haven't been fulfilled, that, that are being fulfilled it's now. Not, it's not about admi- admiration. You understand? It's about believing 
logically, it is the truth. It, it, does it not come down to it? How do you tell someone my book is better than your book? No. How do you, how do you tell someone? It's not about better. I'm not telling you. Yeah, well, it was too better than false. Let's go to that. Let's go to that. The Quran says, Bring your evidence if you're truthful. Okay. Yeah? So everything is based on evidence, you know. Now the Quran says, yeah, that if you don't think that this book has been revealed from God and produced a chapter like it. Yeah? So this is which I'll continue uh, from that are external to the Prophet and the Quran that prove the prophethood of the Prophet. For example, one of them is the historicity of the Quran. And the Quran contains historically accurate information that was impossible to know at the time of the Prophet. That's what I made the claim to you earlier, but you said to me. Number two, number two, the prophecies, prophecies of the Prophet and the Quran. 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 Prophecies. No, no, no. I'm not here to. I'll hear your claim. I'll hear your claim. Do you know what I mean? And I respect I'm gonna it. Go. And I'll tell you the it's same claim. My, there you go. Like you can he's say that. That's fine. I'm telling. I'm not. No, you can't ask me. He's telling me about insects. I think that's it. Thank you. My three insects. Yes. Why are you coming this way? Uh, I like you. Thank you.